Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to find missing letters. Uh, we want to find the missing letter in the past letter range and return it. If all letters are present in the range, return undefined. Okay, so A, B, C, E should return D. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, O should return I. Got it. Okay, so this should return undefined. So let's say alphabet. We're going to say let alphabet equal here. And then the string. Hmm. Well, first off, the thing is the thing about this is that we have to think about starting from S, right? That's the tricky part. Um, I'm going to let the result equal fear no, and then we're going to console.log the result. Uh, right now, we're just returning the string. And so what we want to do is say, well, we could console.log the okay, string at position 0, right? <clears throat> what does that give us? That gives us an S, right? And then in the alphabet, alpha dot index of string. This gives us the index of the letter S. Uh, zero. Let's well. Let's start with B. That should be one, right? A is zero. B is one. Okay. So this is S. What we want to do is start at position eighteen. So um, yeah, the string, the alphabet at position 18 is equal to S. So yeah, we could just uh, initially, look, I'd say what we should do is set the, um, this guy 18 to just be, let's call this the initial, the starting position. Uh, starting position equal this guy. And now if we were to say console.log the uh, alphabet at starting position. Okay, cool. So, um, I mean, one thing that we could do is just iterate up to the ending position, right? Because we'll be able to say uh, D, E, F, C, D, E, F. I mean, we, the, it's th theoretic, no, no. Hmm. I'm thinking about this like, uh, if it were just uh, B, C, D, F, oh, it needs to return the next string. So um, yeah, we actually don't need an ending position because if B, C, C, D, E, F, oh, I wonder what it should be if it were B, C, D, E. Anyways, that's not part, because that's not part of our, uh, test cases here. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to iterate up from the starting position. So what we could say is we're going to say um, we're going to let the uh, let i equal the starting position. Uh, i is less than the string dot length, and then we're going to increment up with i. Um, so yeah, now if we were to console.log i, uh, I think that starting position less than string dot length. Console.log i. I, it should be counting out the stvwx. We're starting. i plus one. Console log i. Console log alphabet at position i. Doesn't make a difference. It's console log the starting position. Uh, the starting position is 18, so let i equal starting position. i is less than the string dot length. Oh, okay. String dot length is, um, you know, four. So it needs to be I is less than string dot length plus the starting position. Position. 
oh yeah, starting position plus string dot length. Starting position plus string dot length. Okay, so yeah, the starting it needs to be 18 plus the length of the string. If we initially I had it set to um, the string dot length, which is the length of this string is uh, one, two, three, four, five, and so we're starting i at at i is starting at 18, and then we're saying while well, i is less than uh, 5, I, i being 18, that made it so that this didn't run. And so um, I'm just going to expand this just to show what's going on here. So I hope that makes sense. We need to have the starting position plus string.length, and now we're iterating through S-T-U-V-W, right? S-T-U-V-W. And well, what we could do now is say is alphabet at position i. Um, is that equal to our string at position i minus string minus uh, the starting position? Um, true, 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 false. And so, yeah, right. So what's going on here? S, T, and then at U, it becomes false. And so, yeah, I mean, here we can say not equal to here. And then we're false, false, true. So uh, what we can do now is just create a conditional statement, right? Like if the alphabet at starting position is not equal to the string at starting position, then we return the uh, alphabet at position i. And that'll give us u. S-T-U-V. And that is what we're looking for. Um, right here, we're producing that. Huh. This is a, kind of a weird way of going about it. We run the test, I think they pass. Okay, cool, this is a way to solve this problem. Um, yeah, I mean, this works. Uh, is there a cleaner way to do this, one that makes more sense? I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I found a better way to do this. So this, all this indexing stuff and the starting position stuff is annoying and it makes, it makes for the code to be very illegible in my opinion. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna create a variable called uh, the focused alphabet. Okay, and we set that equal to the alphabet dot slice the starting position, right? Um, and let's console log the focused alphabet so you see it. It's not splice, it's slice. There we go. And now you see we get S T U V W X Y Z. So we've simplified the alphabet so that we can actually iterate from the beginning. And then we can just compare that um, with, with the actual alphabet. So uh, instead of saying i is equal to the starting position, we can just say zero. And then the i is less than the string dot length, right? And so now if we were to console dot log um, the string at position i and then the uh, focused alphabet at position i, uh, we get, uh, well, let's get rid of this if statement for now. Um, S T U V and W, and so now we're now we're comparing them uh, much in a much more simplified way. Now that we have this focused alphabet, we know that where we're just working on uh, these elements. And so what we can do is just iterate through, and we say if the alphabet or if uh, string at position I is not equal to uh, the focused alphabet at position I, and we get rid of this starting point mumbo jumbo. Then, so we're, is this equal to this? Yes. And then we skip the if statement. TT, is that equal to that? Yes. So we skip this if statement. VU, is that equal? No, it's not. And so what we do is we return the alphabetical number, which is uh, STU, the one that we're pulling from the alphabet. And then we never even have to go to the next uh, point. wonder why it says C down here. CU. Huh. If you're an S T U V, why is it passing back C? This is not passing the tests. Oh, because what we're doing is we're passing in for the alphabet. So at you know in this situation, um, our index is uh, zero, one, two, and so at index two we're saying at index two we're checking the alphabet, which is zero, one, two. So we're passing C. So what we need to do is say focused alphabet. Now we're getting that one. We can get rid of this console log, and that will just give us the U, which is the result that we want, and that makes the test pass. 
Now, this, I think, is way clearer to understand, right? Um, we, we first, we set the alphabet. The next thing, we start, we get the starting point from our string, and then we uh, throw in our focused alphabet, which means we just get the, the data that we need to solve the problem. And then we just iterate through based upon how long the string is. And um, I think that's great. So if we run the test, they pass. Hope you guys liked it, this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.